Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this tortured crown look. It was originally inspired by a different YouTuber, I don't know his name, but I will definitely link the video down below. And this is kind of my non-special effects version of this look, so let's just get right into it. So I already have my face done, and I think that should be noted for later on when I defy all sanitary rules. But yes, my foundation is on, and I blocked out my eyebrows. I'm not going to explain how I did them, because honestly, I'm not sure. I had to watch a James Charles video midway to figure out what I was doing wrong, but I got them sort of blocked out enough if you can see they're not like super like invisible but they were good enough so yeah so then I took my NYX jumbo white eye pencil and I used that to kind of sketch out the shape of where the fake blood was gonna be and it's pretty much a triangular shape since it's just being pinched upwards and downwards and since my eyebrows were still kind of visible I tried to like cover it up with the where the blood was gonna be and so that meant I kind of went like past my eye, where like my eye shape is, but if I had blocked on my eyebrows properly, the length of the triangle I guess would have been like as far as my eye, because if you'll see that it kind of extends past it and I didn't like it that way, but since we didn't really block on our eyebrows all that great, then that's what we have. Alright, I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but... I actually kind of messed up on that first eye, so we're going to go into the lips now. Um, I'm taking this kind of, I don't want to call it a bright red, but just like a true red color, I suppose, and I'm using it to just put all over my lips. And this is going to be the first base color that we're using. Um, the second color we're going to go over is, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the dark red color from Kat Von D. So I wanted kind of like a brighter red or just a more not as dark red to start off with, and then I'm extending the smile around my face and since this was supposed to be like a joker smile I kind of just took the wand and just made it a little bit messy and then similarly to the rotting roots video that I did I kind of just like connected the line to my lips so it wouldn't look like an awkward line so kind of like how eyeliner is and we just like extend the wing and make it connect with the lines then I took my beauty blender to kind of like diffuse out the color so that it wouldn't be as like intense or harsh then going in with my Kat Von D liquid lipstick with a name that's weird to pronounce, I'm just taking this over top the Kylie Cosmetics lipstick and I'm kind of just placing this in the center to kind of give it more of that like shape and depth and same thing, I'm just kind of extending out the smile lines. Now going back with that Kylie lipstick, which I don't think I mentioned before, I'm pretty sure it's called Jolly, I'm taking this and I'm kind of painting inside the diamond shape that I made for myself before. I don't want to go too outside the white line because the white kind of provides like a shadowy effect, like lighting afterward. And I also want to mention that I wouldn't recommend actually doing it straight from the tube. It's just kind of unsanitary, especially like just because I have the foundation on my face set already and like, you know, I use this lipstick as everyday lipstick so it's just kind of gross and unsanitary especially like so close to my eyes so I would recommend if you have one just using a disposable like wand but the only reason I didn't do it is because it was getting kind of late and I was running out of lighting and I got lazy so I just did it straight from the tube but I would not recommend this if you can control it. And then I kind of just pat it out every now and then since there was a lot of color deposit and then I felt like using the wand to spread it out wouldn't be so productive since there's product on the wand so I just used my finger to kind of help spread it out a little bit more. Then going in, back in with a Kat Von D lipstick, I'm using this to kind of outline the perimeters of the eyes to give it depth. I know that kind of contradicts what I did with the lips. But yeah, it just kind of gives it that like shadowy effect so that it's a bit more darker. As you can see in the other eye, I tried to use black, but it just looked bad and bruised. Which is fine also, but we don't want it to look bruised, we just want it to look open and gory. So I just used a darker lipstick instead to give it that darkness and depth. And of course I just used my fingers to kind of tap it in and blend it together. Then using the silver color in my flash palette, I'm just kind of painting on the bolts that are keeping the eyes open. And I would actually wait till the liquid lipstick dries because I didn't so then it's smudged everywhere, but once it dries, it's no problem. And actually the original way I wanted to do this look was by taking um, fake nails and painting them like a chrome silvery color and then gluing them on with um, eyelash glue, but I couldn't find like cheap fake nails and yeah, just, you know, struggles, whatever. But this works too and it kind of gives off the same effect. Then to kind of make it look more strained and like, like it's cramping onto my skin, I used a reddish colored 
eyeshadow and kind of outlined the bolted area and like made little veins come out from it. They come with little bugs, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Alright, now for the fun part. So I took this um, NYX eye gloss, I guess you could call it, and I just poured some on the back of my hand and then I used my finger to kind of dab it on there because I wasn't really sure how it would apply with the brush. I'm sure it's fine, but I just wanted to make sure that I just applied with my fingers because I felt like that was the safest for some reason. However, I would use a brush just to get into those tiny like curves and like points of the eye look. But yeah, I just dabbed this literally everywhere where there was red. And it's just a really good way to achieve that like bloody gory look without using actual special effects blood, which is always my thing. I will always find a makeup way around things if I can instead of using special effects. Then taking that NYX Jumbo Pencil one more time, I just used that to tight line my waterline and a little bit below my eyes just to give it like that more bigger eye effect, especially since I'm Asian and I have small eyes. And then that is it for this look. Then you just cover up the bad eye with your hair so you pretend like the bad things never happened and yeah. I'm actually really proud of this and how I was able to use just regular makeup to create a special effects look without using special effects. And I really hope you guys liked it too. And if you did, don't, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next Halloween video. Bye!